So you want to add a vertical line in your Word document. And there's actually quite a few ways you could do this. Probably the most obvious way is to go to Insert Shapes. And you've got a line shape there. Now, if you click on it and then hold down Shift on your keyboard, you'll get a perfect vertical line. You can always change the color of the line and you could change its weight. Right, the next method is to use tabs. Now, if I click over here, you can see at the moment this is a left tab. If I keep clicking, eventually I get to a bar tab. Now, what I can then do is click where I want the line to appear. So say I want it at the one inch position. I click there and I might want another line, say over here at three inches. Now, if I press enter, you can see that it creates those lines for me. Now, in a similar vein, you can create lines with a table. So if I went to insert table, chose a number of columns and rows, and then if I took the grid lines off, so I select the table, go to borders here, no borders. Now, if you can't see the structure of your table, go to layout, view grid lines, and then say I wanted a line here, I would select those cells, go to table design, borders, and say left border. And then it doesn't matter how many rows I create, it's going to create that line down the page. By the way, these grid lines don't print out. Your document's going to look like this. Now, another method is where you are using columns. So if I go to layout, columns, more columns, I could say two columns there, and then say I want a line between the columns. Click on OK, and you get your line. Another method is to use page borders. So if I go to the design tab here, then page borders, and what I can do is choose where I want the page borders to appear. So if I want it to the left of the document, I can choose that option. Click on OK, and I get a line all the way down the page. So if you want to change the position of this border on the page, go back to your Page Borders button, click on Options down here, and you can change the setting for the border. So I've got a left border. Change this to 30. Measurement from Edge of Page. Your other option is text. Click on OK, click on OK, and you can see it's moved in the line very slightly. Now, the other thing you might want is a line between words, and you can do that with Shift and Backslash on your keyboard. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.